Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be um, using all the NYX products that I recently hauled and some other NYX products that I already owned. So I started with the NYX pore filler and put that on my face. Then I used a primer, the NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer for anti-redness. Then I went in with the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Foundation. So I'm gonna list those in the down bar, but uh, next I wanted to go in with the NYX Stay Matte Not Flat Powder Foundation all over the face. It's a powder foundation, but I find that on its own, it really doesn't give me enough coverage. So um, then I'm going to use um, the new blush that I got um, from my Hot Look haul uh, of NYX products. And it's a blush, but it's in the shade Coco, and I think it'll be a gorgeous bronzer. So uh, I'm just using a blush brush here. So it's a little bit orange shaded. I'm working with the natural light today. I hope you guys can tell. Um, I still have my artificial light, but I'm trying to work with natural light. Then another NYX blush I got was this color in Desert Rose. It's really pretty. I think I need to use it with a very light hand. Sorry. What are you barking at? She wants to have some of my blush, I think. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, I'll do the other cheek. So I got this really small smoky look, look kit, like this, and then underneath it it has um, two lip colors. So I'm gonna actually use that white as a highlight, maybe the tan, depending on how light that is, and see if it works on the top of my cheekbones and as a brow highlight. I think the white color, I mean, it's really hard to get a big brush in that little tiny pot, but I think it's a really pretty highlight, actually. Just taking it over the brows, cube of the bow, down the nose, switching brushes, <laughs> and then under the brow, inner corner. Okay, now I'm going to use the um, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in um, yogurt just to prime the eyes. Okay, I just put that on the lid and a little bit above the crease, not all the way up to the brow. Um, next, I'm going to be using some of the shadows from this kit. They are all grays and smoky, so I guess I will, I'll use something else for the base. This is Ultra Pearl Mania. It's a loose pigment, so I'm gonna use that on the lid. It's gorgeous, um, but very shimmery, so kind of messy too. Okay, so I have some on a flat brush, tapping it on my hand just to make sure I'm not getting any excess. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Look how pretty that is. Although it looks a lot like the primer, <laughs> but I think it's really pretty for almost like an effortless foil look. I didn't even use water or, you know, Fix Plus or anything. Okay, for the crease color, I'm going to use the brown color in this Smokies kit. I don't think these shadows have names, so it's just a dark brown in the upper corner. And I'm just going to sweep that across. Okay. Hmm, how can we spice up this eye a little? There's a black. Let's do black in the outer V. Wow, that's pigmented. Okay, now it's time to blend, blend, blend. For the lips, I'm using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Ibiza. I think it's I-V-I-Z-A. I just wanted something that wasn't going to get on my retainer, and these matte ones don't transfer, so that's really nice. And on the center of the lip only, I'm going to be putting this NYX Butter Gloss in Cherry Cheesecake. And that's because I find these just a little too dry. So that's enough to add a little bit of interest and to keep me from going crazy with it. Okay, so for the upper lash line, I'm going to be using the NYX Collection Noir Cole Kajal Black Eyeliner. And... I have not tried this before, so this is a first impression. 
I don't think it's the blackest black I've ever seen, but it'll get the job done. And I'm going to use it on the tight line too. And then I'm using the same eyeliner, but in the brown shade. Chocolate, I think it's called. Um, Cajel Brown, yes. On the lower lashes. And then I'm going to be using the NYX Mascara Full Figured Lush, Lush Lashes Mascara. It's got a pretty small wand, but not the smallest I've ever seen. Whoop. We all get mascara up there, don't we? I hate that. <laughs> Okay, I'm honestly not loving this mascara. I feel like it made my lower lashes look really long. Like, don't they look long? But the upper lashes just kind of look lackluster. They're all right. I mean, it's not the worst mascara I've ever used, trust me. No. But it's not that great either. I swear, the moment I like unpause the camera, the dog decides to bark every time. I don't know what it is. Um, this is the NYX Matte Finishing Spray. All right. I love finishing spray. I probably use double what you're supposed to. And I totally just spit on myself. That was cute, right? No. Okay, that is it for an all NYX face. Um, stay tuned. In the next video I want to record is a review of this NYX Butt Naked palette that's got um, 15 eyeshadows. And then below that, it has four blushes, a bronzer, and some highlights. So I want to do um, as much of a full face as I can using those products and tell you if it's worth the money. I think it's about 15 or $20 for that, but it seems like if you didn't have any other makeup, it would be a really good starter set. And I guess that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.